这是外美三分钟，我是安博仁。A tragic Halloween stampede in South Korea has killed at least 150, but one Western media outlet thought it happened in China. A UK news channel openly complains that British spies are finding it increasingly difficult to spy in China, and we take a quick flashback to the time the chairman of the World Uyghur Congress admitted where the one million Uyghurs lie comes from. This is reports on China. Quick three. Let's start counting down. A tragic stampede during a late-night Halloween party in Seoul, South Korea, has left more than 150 dead. The number is expected to continue to rise as some in serious condition succumb to their injuries. Unfortunately, though, one British news outlet, the Independent, erroneously reported that the incident happened here in China, and left a tweet with the error up for nearly a whole day, despite numerous complaints. Their original headline read. People crushed to death in Hong Kong Halloween festivities stampede. I'm not sure how they could get the facts so incredibly wrong, especially given that Hong Kong and Seoul are not even a tiny bit similar. The bigger question is how could such blatantly incorrect information be left up online for such a long time? I have no doubts whatsoever that there would have been numerous Hong Kongers in the UK who saw that headline and immediately freaked out about the safety of their loved ones back home. Twitter users were just as shocked. Tony said, "How on earth can you make this mistake? This is as bad as announcing that 9/11 happened in London or Sydney." Steve said, "I believe there's a definite subconscious bias when it comes to this type of reporting that negates normal standards of thought process."、Mm, I'm not sure what happened in this instance, but it does add to a long list of similar errors. At least they corrected the error, albeit hours later, which is more than can be said for the BBC. Do you guys remember the 39 Vietnamese locals who died in the back of a lorry in 2019? Well, the BBC still reports to this day that they were Chinese. Shocking. UK media are complaining that China has become so high tech that it's becoming next to impossible for British spies to spy here undetected. And the absolutely hilarious part is that they aren't even trying to be discreet anymore with their absolutely imperialist ideas about the world. That they're saying it blatantly and completely openly. Check out this piece by Channel Four News, and remember that this is not a parody. Adapting to a world affected by the rise of China is the single greatest priority for MI6. The facial recognition and other high-tech surveillance methods it uses to monitor its own population are now ubiquitous, making it increasingly hard for British agents to work undercover anywhere. This is not just about being able to understand China and Chinese decision making. We need to be able to operate undetected as a secret intelligence agency everywhere within the worldwide surveillance web. Honestly, what is it about governments in the Western world and their absolutely cocky imperialist ideas about their role in the world? It is absolutely laughable that that reporter could put together such a story and think it sounded in any way fair or reasonable. The reality is that they're so brainwashed by their own propaganda, by the idea that the Anglo-Western way of life is the right way and that everyone else is evil. That these kind of ludicrous beliefs exist unchecked by the majority of Westerners. Like seriously, why the heck would a foreign nation have the right to spy in China undetected? How could anyone profess such a view with a straight face unless they absolutely believed what they were saying? Now we'll take a quick flashback to the time Max Blumenthal interviewed the chairman of the World Uyghur Congress about the dodgy claim that China locked up one million Uyghurs in concentration camps. Let's take a quick look at the video, and then we'll come back and have a chat. And your、uh, group, which is sponsored by the NED, is is the one that's documented this and supplied the information to the U.S. Yes, uh, so, um, um, uh, some of the information, of course, not all of it. Yeah. How do you know it's one million? The number that's a very staggering number. Yeah, staggering number. This uh, this uh, number was given to you know by uh, uh, some. Uh, uh, Or even some Western media estimates. You know, we don't know exactly how Western. So there you can see in black and white the circular way that Western media and governments and other bodies go about spreading absolute lies in order to prop up their attacks on places like China. 
a country that dares to stand up to Western beliefs and strives for a fairer, multipolar world. As the chairman just said, his claims that the million workers have been locked up in concentration camps comes from none other than Western media. These claims are made, then people like the chairman of the World Wigger Congress repeat them unchallenged. Then media report that the chairman of the World Wigger Congress said there are one million Wiggers locked up in concentration camps. And so it goes on and on and on until basically it becomes common knowledge, despite being completely and utterly untrue, that China has locked up more than one million Wiggers in concentration camps. It's going to take a huge effort to undo this kind of propaganda and to be honest it might not even be possible to completely reverse the damage that's been done. But if we can even try just to change a couple of people's minds then we're getting somewhere. So please do spread the word you guys, share my videos with your friends and family and hopefully we can make some kind of change. And as always let me know what you think down below, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys next time, bye bye.